Ian McHenry. I'm the co-founder and CEO of InStock. Uh, InStock's a site that helps you find any product in stock locally. So instead of going to Amazon and finding something that's going to come from a warehouse hundreds of miles away, uh, you can find uh, you can go to InStock and find those same products just right uh, nearby. My prior company that I founded, um, I was busy CEO. Um, and so naturally uh, went to Amazon all the time. I have two kids, uh, all of that. And uh, at some point uh, around Christmas, I was trying to find this like one uh, uh, play kitchen for my daughter. And Amazon was gonna take 10 days, we we're gonna miss Christmas, all of that. And suddenly I was thrust back into the world of physical retail, God forbid. Uh, <laughs> And, and uh, you know, felt the pain of like trying to figure out, hey, what stores might have this? How can I figure out if they actually have this particular item? Searching all the toy stores, all of this. And it just made no sense because all these stores have that data stored in their core systems. And so why isn't there an easy way to figure out what's sitting on all the shelves around us right now? Because there's hundreds of stores, hundreds of thousands of products. And as a data guy, that like really, really irked me. And then when coronavirus came around, you know, try, having to go store to store to find that thing you wanted was no longer just an inconvenience. It was like a health risk. Uh, and that's what kind of prompted me to start this uh, so that we could, you know, A, make it easier on you to figure out um, where any item is locally, and B, help local retail, um, you know, really truly compete uh, with e-commerce and Wal uh, you know, uh, giants like Amazon, Walmart, and all those types. Yeah, um, you know, I, second time around, so I knew most of the basic stuff, um, but there, there's a lot of, of small challenges. Um, you know, we needed to aggregate data from a wide range of, of retailers, both big box and small ones. Um, and the biggest problem with small retailers is like they didn't actually have like pictures and descriptions um, and that was really really um, hard for them to get that uh, together to launch their actual own website if they wanted it and so um, we found a great data partner so that we could do that automatically um, and that was like probably the biggest problem to actually get that inventory online but now we've got it down where it'll take 10 minutes and we can get a retailer whether it's fiber bamboo or wonderland toys or whoever it is we can get them up on in stock so people can search across all the stores uh, here in Santa Cruz and elsewhere um, from one place. Yeah, for InStock, you know, it, this was a perfect place to start it. I mean, it helps that I live here. <laughs> um, but also, like, people in Santa Cruz, like many other, like, suburban and smaller communities, like, they know their local shops. They know the people that run it. They care about it. They really, really, really want to support them. And so we have that working for us here in Santa Cruz, and that's helped us a ton. And we want to, and we, as we expand, you know, we look at more places like this, whether it's Boulder or and all these other sorts of places where people have more of attachment to shopping local. Um, but you know, it was it's more difficult, right? Um, there's no single place to search across all that. Um, you know, we're working with people to help on delivery, so you can get it to your your doorstep with the same convenience of Amazon, all those sorts of things. Um, and Santa Cruz was kind of a great test bed for all of that. Yeah, yeah so we just finished Y Combinator, um, went through the summer batch, it was the first virtual batch ever, um, which was a great experience. Um, we're raising uh, our seed round of funding right now, um, midway through that. Um, and, uh, but after that, really, it's about getting you know more stores on there so that every, you know, really getting density in a given location, especially here in Santa Cruz. Um, and and um, and trying to work too with a bunch of partners uh, to to help um, all the local stores, whether it's a chamber of commerce um, or like a visit Santa Cruz um, or whatnot, um, to just give uh, them more access to people who are trying to search for products locally. Um, and the second thing we're um, really kind of building out now, in addition to all that. Um, is we have like a Chrome plugin so that uh, when you're searching online, uh, uh, especially if you're searching on Amazon, if you're searching for a product, we'll actually show you that you could get that same product, you know, within a few miles from there. Just to kind of, you know, bug you and before you hit that buy button, uh, g give you that nice guilt trip or, you know, that nice opportunity to get it faster and just run, you know, down the, you know, down the way to, to, to pick it up from a local store.
or we're hiring or doing all that, if you're at Looker and uh, you've already cashed out and you're looking for the next billion dollar startup, like, you know, come here. Like, uh, uh, my prior company, you know, we moved from San Francisco five years ago where I was there for a decade. And we're trying to hire locally and uh, uh, it was actually really, really tough. Um, Looker sucking up all that talent. So now, hopefully, uh, welcome to the next great big thing. Um, and and in stock, uh, we think is that. Um, but then also just as as just consumers, um, give us a try. Um, if you know local retail stores who you'd love to have on there, we just want to make it easier for you um, to shop locally at the end of the day, so that there's no excuse not to do it. Because all the same stuff that you can buy on Amazon, you can buy right here in Santa Cruz. Um, for all, for the same price usually, and you can get it here faster than Amazon. And so, like, we really want to help you help the local community, and that's really like the end goal of it.